Good morning, Biscuit. Is this your new home? You're a little bit early. It's actually Halloween weekend, not Christmas weekend, but... <laughs> Look at him in his new little gingerbread hat. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Good morning everybody, welcome to a weekend vlog, I haven't done a weekend vlog in ages but we've got a really fun weekend planned this weekend so I thought that we would vlog together. This morning I just wanted to actually make something which I've been influenced by Instagram reels to make, <laughs> basically, it's very basic but <laughs> basically it's very basic, um, so I saw someone making hot lemon and ginger water and I just wanted to give it a go because I love ginger I feel like it will <laughs> I can't think of the word cleanse cleanse me no it cleanse me I feel like it will rejuvenate that's the word I wanted I feel like it will rejuvenate me I actually love ginger because I feel like it really helps prevent me from bloating whenever I take a ginger shot especially if I'm up early in the morning for like a shoot I find the earlier I get up, the worse I blow. I don't know if any of you guys find that. So, yeah, I often have ginger shots, particularly when I'm going, you know, at like 6am for a shoot and I don't want to blow. So, I thought I'd have a go at this because it just, it just, something about it just feels fresh. A nice lemon and ginger hot water. <laughs> drinks we still don't have a kettle <laughs> so I'm still making any hot drink on the stove but I kind of like it to be honest but we are gonna buy a kettle today I think because we're gonna go do a big kind of Halloweeny shot so yeah that's something that we're gonna grab because I've seen a nice one in the range so let's try it oh actually I'm gonna squeeze a tiny bit of lemon on top just to give it a little something more give it a stir with the knife <laughs> could be vile if this was me when I was like 18 I would have absolutely hated the thought of this it's kind of like one of those drinks you think that you're supposed to have when you're ill <laughs> but ginger has grown on me over the past few years okay I'm not sure <laughs> oh oh no oh that is horrible <laughs> I don't know if it's because my ginger hasn't really like soaked in or not, but all it tastes like is savoury lemon, lukewarm water. Oh no. Maybe I'll let it soak for a bit. That's giving me goosebumps because it's so horrible. No. Oh, it's getting worse. Welcome to Megan's Halloween vlog. <laughs> I'm starting it. Look at her. Hello. Oh, is that good guy? Oh, oh, look, he wants to say hi to you. Hello, buddy. <laughs> so dirty today. You're excited to get spooky. Yeah, blue bow. Blue. Yours. Oh, wag your tail. Really to see you. Is that good guy? She's got a dribble on her mouth still. Um, yeah, I've got it. Two, one. Oh. Virgin Mary! She ready for Christmas! <laughs> oh, I'm so cute! Bless your little heart, you hate being wet, don't you, boobie? Hello guys, I am just getting myself zhuzhed up. I look a little bit worse for wear this morning on my skin, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit of makeup on. If you look, sometimes when I put my face spritzy tan, when I put it on the next morning, and if I have kind of dry skin anywhere or any bits of spots coming up, it properly clings to it, and it's kind of done that today. If you can see, you can properly see that rashy area, which still hasn't gone. It looks quite obvious today. So I'm just going to put a little bit of Slum and Summon on. So I am a little bit covered. I might actually just do the concealer, bronzer, shebang that's really quick and just like a little bit of something but hello I've just been sorting out we've just actually had the brand new desk collection launch on Bluey so I was sorting that out 
and I'm a little bit kind of like launch brain smush because I've been looking at a computer for the past hour like concentrating <laughs> actually someone else had a launch at the same time as Bluey um SLA the label so I was launching Bluey at the exact same time but also really wanted to grab something from her launch because it was like sparkly party dresses really wanted to get something and I knew that they'd sell out quick and I did which I'm really excited about because it just made me feel like Christmas but she has the best like sparkly dresses on SLA the, the label I love it the bluey launch went really really well I was actually quite nervous I think because we haven't had kind of a bigger drop for a while and I just get nervous about everything don't I <laughs> so but it went really really well we've actually sold out of a lot of the leggings already within the first 10 minutes a lot of our legging sizes went and I literally can't believe it so thank you so much if you did grab something from the collection. I'd love to know what you did grab. You did get something. But yeah, if you missed out, we are thinking of doing maybe a restock of the leggings particularly. Because I know a lot of people didn't manage to get particularly the grey and the olive. So I will keep you updated on that. But yeah, thank you so much anyone that did grab something. Very, very exciting. But anyway. <laughs> I am going to judge myself up. I'm going to put a few little waves in my hair as well. And then I'm going to do a little bit of baking downstairs. The boys are filming down there too. So it could be interesting. Wait. <laughs> this definitely isn't on. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know what? I got an email through just now as well. John Lewis Christmas advert launches. I think in like three days. I can't believe that. I remember Christmas adverts launching. A lot nearer Christmas. But. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I'm so excited. The John Lewis one's my favourite. So I've actually started... The, I got an email saying, if you sign up to the John Lewis app before Halloween, then we will give you a sneak peek first of our new advert. I was like, I am literally there. <laughs> also, do you know something else which blew my mind the other day? Who else? I mean, I, do you know what? I haven't watched Doctor Who. Sorry, I feel like I sound like such a nerd right now. But I, I haven't watched Doctor Who since David Tennant was in it because, I don't know, I just feel like it's never been good since he left. I know some people, oh god, hang on. <laughs> I know some people really liked um, Matt Smith. I just feel like, I don't know, there was just something about David Tennant in that role and then when he finished it wasn't the same programme for me. So, yeah, I mean I always re-watch the old ones, I don't know about any of you, but... I just absolutely adore David Tennant. I watched a new series on um, BBC on the weekend with Niall called The Inside Man and he was the main character. Uh, I don't think I would recommend it, but if you do like David Tennant then maybe just have a little watch because he is great in it. But the actual storyline is really bizarre and really just like, you know when you finish a series, it was like a four part series. You know when you finish a series and you just feel really unsatisfied and uncomfortable? It was one of them. I was just like, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know if I needed to watch that in my life. <laughs> but what I was going to say is that David Tennant rejuvenate, not rejuvenate, regenerated as the new doctor. My mum texted me and was like, oh my God, Megan, you're not going to believe this. Because obviously I don't watch it anymore, so I didn't see. She was like, guess who the new doctor is? <laughs> I was like, who hey, wouldn't? Why? Who cares? David Tennant. David Tennant is the back as the Doctor Who. Right, I'm heading down, but I feel like it's quiet for a reason. Because when they film their videos, they often need silence while they film certain bits because they use the noises of the food. Why is it so quiet down here? Yep. Be quiet down here. Am I allowed to talk? They're making chorizo mac and cheese. No one's answering me. Just getting up, just getting the, you know, the pièce de résistance shots. Oh, it smells nice. Can you just tell me when I need to shush? I'm just gonna make some pumpkin spice cookies if that's all right. Yeah, that's it. I won't talk the I'm whole taste. time. You go for it. I just have to edit out all you. Come taste my chorizo. Oh my what? Really fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 
Lovely. Lovely. Tripped him. You No one does that no at our age. No one does that at our age. <laughs> Your band is funny though, stuff. You, you two are melts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Stop it! it. Stop. Stop. That's Stop. A, do you remember how annoying that was when you were a kid though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to repeat that too. <laughs> oh, oh. Right, anyway, I'm going to make some pumpkin spice cookies. So I've actually found this recipe on Jane's patisserie, but I am going to slightly change it. So I actually made a cookie recipe of hers not long ago and I just found it a little bit too buttery slash sugary because now I often replace and like make alternatives for certain musical statues. Yeah now I often alternate a few ingredients because I actually just prefer like the taste where it's a little bit less rich. So I'm gonna replace sugar with maple syrup again and the butter with coconut oil. I actually just much prefer it now because I did it with butter and sugar when I made her one of her recipes last and I actually didn't like them that much. Did you know? They just, they literally tasted like you were eating sugar and butter. Yeah, I mean I ate them so I can't say yeah, I didn't like did. them. Yeah, you did annihilate most of them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this Jane's patisserie recipe and I will link it in the description box but I'll just quickly show you what I'm using. So, do have some sugar but I've basically she uses granulated sugar and brown sugar in hers. So I'm going to use granulated but then maple syrup instead of brown. Then I've got coconut oil, vanilla extract, we've got pumpkin pie mix so i bought this a couple of years ago it's like a pumpkin spice mix basically to make it have that effect we've got corn flour egg white chocolate bicarb of soda and then i've also got these m m's because i'm going to try and pick out the orangey ones cookie so that they look a little bit more halloweeny what if the world had What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could? <laughs> mm. Mm. Pumpkin spice, everything's nice. You're You're always so silly when cars are out. Everything's <laughs> nice no. when I've got a bit of pumpkin spice in my life. Everyone, there be no wars. Cookies are ready to go in the oven. The only thing I'm slightly concerned about is whenever I seem to make cookies at the moment, they join into one big cookie. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But I think they just go in for 10 minutes, these ones. So let us pray is that, is for that the pumpkin spice cookie. No, these ones you don't chill. Praise be. <laughs> Praise be. Praise be the pumpkin spice cookies. Hi, little munchkin boy. Bisky boy, show how you jumped up onto the surface to get your food for the first oh, time. Oh, you started to be able to jump a bit higher. Kiss, biscuit, kiss. Go on in. Kiss, kiss. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy, you're so friendly. Oh my god, look at his tongue. Basil, that's not your angle. <laughs> right, guys, we got a live one in the oven. It's ready to come out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Crikey, Nora, look at that! Look at, a, look at the rise on them! See, I'm That actually looks sick, Megan, like Ben's cookies. Look at the rise oh. there. Megan's cookies, I need to start my own shop. These look so good, don't they? They actually didn't oh, join. such a nice shot, that. We just need to um, wait for them to firm up a bit. I think you've got to wait for them to cool for 10 minutes. So Beautiful. Try. Well done. Smashed it. Oh, we need to show them our handshake. Ah, oh, so, you're so shit. Cabbage. Cabbage. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> we need to call it a bell on that. <laughs> For me. Oh, you look like it's like a Halloween person. <laughs> Hi guys, we are just en route to the gym. So we're all heading together, but I'm going to train glutes today. So I am still following my Beyond Burst Guide, which is the guide that has the very quick, effective sessions in. However, today I'm slightly mixing up my workout because I really fancy doing a bit of German volume training. So I'm gonna do 10 times 10 on my hip thrust. I haven't done it for ages, but I really fancy it. 
so it's gonna be super high volume and super sweaty so I thought why not on a Friday afternoon and we've got four other moves which I'll show you in the workout but I will see you in the gym are you excited for your sessions guys can't wait we're doing yeah, our wham. me and Carl have designed well we're designing our own uh, training program we're doing a full upper body day today go on boys oh yeah it's all right it's Oh, well, that's a Halloween house. That's what we're gonna go and get after the gym. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get a giant blow up mummy be there to like go a, outside our house. It'd be like our Christmas decorations were just still up from last year outside the house. Saved us a job this year, though, didn't it? Yeah, no. <laughs> Terminal evening. Thank hey you. guys, <laughs> what did you just? What did you just say? What? <laughs> when I get home, I'm going to have some mac oh, and yeah, cheese. Oh yeah, I'm going to your house. He called our house. Carl's home. house. Uh, no, our house is Carl's home. Hey, second home minute. He's our. He's Uncle Carl. <laughs> <laughs> black currant fizz. Oh. Sparkling black currant drink. That sounds nice. <laughs> it does sound nice. Cookies and scream. Let's get all these little things for the party car. Do we? Yeah, we've got a little light up lanterns here. I think these have got biscuits in them. Yeah, all butter biscuit. And they light up. How do you light that up? Is there a butter? Oh, you can't do can't it? can't do it now. Oh, they must let you test it. No, you can't. You can't. You can't press on it, though. It's got like a little. Oh, that's so annoying. Cap on it. I want to try before I buy. <laughs> these are so good. This is the, the Christmas light up. <gasps> Look at that, it's a light up gin. Cute. And these make you get more drunk because they make little cuts in your throat. No, that that's a myth, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll actually... try it. <laughs> <laughs> she thought you'd be serious. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I used to think that was true. Yeah, so did I to I think that's a new flavour. Sugar plum. Oh, Thanks, Carl. Oh, plum. that one's nice, isn't it? You're my little sugar plum. <laughs> She's my little sugar plum. <laughs> yeah, we hit you the face. I've said it four times, three times. <laughs> oh uh, my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, there we go, there we go. How good that are they? Good the yeah, I they, almost they want one of them, but then there's Colin. It's Mummy Colin. They look more impressive though, imagine that on the table. Look at these, oh, they're so good. Guys, Biscuit loves a pumpkin. Like mother, like, I was gonna say daughter. Like mother, like son. You a pumpkin fan? Oh look, he's just nibbling on them. That's what dogs do, isn't it? <laughs> he basically is a dog, isn't he? He literally thinks he's a dog, oh bless him. Oh no, but bless him, he can be a dog if he wants. He can be whatever he wants to be. <laughs> okay, quick food and drinks shop for tomorrow. Just to give you a quick show. So we've got loads of Mac. <laughs> We've got loads of mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lots, loads of macaroni because Nile's going to make a big mac and cheese for everybody. So he's got lots of different cheeses and butters there. And then we've got some sausage rolls. We've got lots of different crisps and dips. Naughty. I love these little um, combo ones. All of the choices. I also absolutely love this Dorito. Do you know what? This one's really hard to find at the moment. We've got some olives with chilli. We've got some pork pie. My favourite. Here were the main little picky bits of food. As well as the M&S sweet things like Colin the mummy. I mean, look how great this looks. Oh no, he's upside down. Look at this. Colin the mummy. 
So we've lovely. got some sweet things in there as well. And then we've got a few bits of drink. So we've got a gin. The boys have got some rum. And then obviously some elderflower tonics. What do I call it? The boys. The boys. The car earlier, I was like, <laughs> you don't call me hubby. Why don't you call me hubby? I want you to call me hubby. Hubby. I'm not actually like, you like, say it, you know, like when you meet husband and wife. I still husband. find it so weird saying my husband. It doesn't happen that often where you're like, my wife. And then when it does, it's like, oh, proper. And then we also got some chocolate chips. 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 Some carving pumpkins. What does that mean? We're gonna carve them. We're gonna carve, carve them, and then what's gonna happen afterwards? Ah, uh, <laughs> we're gonna get an ambush. <laughs> Sketch. Sketch. You have a pressure on it. Part three. Come on, part yeah. three. I what Do you know what that? That I think that is the most I've ever laughed. Ever when you do them. That hit the slightest pressure now, isn't it? That's, yeah, yeah. I've tried it. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna put everything away and then I think we're gonna do some pumpkin carving and have a bit of a competition. You guys need to find your inspo on Pinterest of what you're gonna carve. The last night I was looking for inspo to carve today and saw this one and Niall was like, that's the one. Can't look at this. Look at the absolute poor effort. <laughs> oh, it's still quite funny though, isn't it? It is quite good. It's like tin, it's like tin tin. You know, less tin -tin is not. No, like that. that is too less. Less is more. No, no, uh, I'm not sure about that. I These are some of my. Look how good this one is. That's so cool, That's isn't it? Effort, though, isn't it? I don't know how they've done the teeth though, but I really like that That's one. Good. I want to do a little house my again. It always comes out better than yours as well, mate. Well, I'm gonna do jail. That's what I'm gonna do. And this one. This is a golden oldie, which we did. <laughs> Two years ago, and it was really good. <laughs> I really like that one. I might have to do that. Biscuit. <laughs> Is that worth it, or not just go in the water bottle? All of water down there. And it has to take it. Why do cats have to take it out of the cup? Out of the glass? It's, it's oh, it's, it's pouring to get the last bits. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Monster match. Monster match. Operation pumpkin carving. Here's a go. Oh, it's pumpkin in it. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh. It was a great spread. Okay, pumpkins are done. We smashed it, guys. Killed it. This is my little house with my little guy. He's got a bat in his window. Yeah, I'm really nice. proud of my bat. Then this one's Niles. I think yours is from the Nightmare Before Christmas though now. Maybe. And then he's got a little evil man living next door. <laughs> and then this is Carl's, Skull Island. It's good Skull Island. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours is really good. Yeah. We smashed it. It's It's killed it. They and it was really fun. They don't fit in. Oh, you have to open his roof. Oh, I can't fit out the door. Let me go see my friend Winifred next door. What name? Win <laughs> Winifred. <laughs> Who's... That's Winifred. This is Julie. Okay, go on then. Oh! Winifred, Winifred! Who? Hey, how are you? <laughs> it's Julie. <laughs> yes, Julie. <laughs> what are you up to today? I'm watching loose women. Can you f off? I'm trying to watch it. You do this every morning. It's on at 10.30 to 11.30 and you f Ruin it every day. F off. <laughs> what? <laughs> that little push of it. Um, Win <laughs> Winifred's dead. Oh, yeah, that was too soon. And then the ple and no, but no, and then, and then she comes back from the dead, and then she goes. <laughs> And she goes, she but she's got the police with her. This yeah, yeah. she rung nine nine nine. She goes, <laughs> her. She did it. She pushed me off the edge. <laughs> oh, f off, Winifred! I told you time and time again. Don't interrupt loose women. <laughs> I just wanted to have a cup of tea with you and maybe a digestive as well. <laughs> 
Oh, fuck. And then the police go, right, Julie, you can't do that. You've got to send you to prison, which is Skull Island. And then they go, and then she gets, oh, and then she goes to prison. Oh, dear, Julie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. And then, and then, and then no, this is her on trial court. Julie. Pump, Julie Pumpkin. Did you or did you not push push Winifred off the edge of the cliff because she wouldn't watch loose women with you? Yeah, I did. I hate that. Bitch. Right, Julie, you're going to Skull Island to have your bottom burned for for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just, that, that's, that's the rest of her existence, just stays there. And then... What about Wilfred though? Wilfred? Winifred! Oh, Winifred. Come on, listen! <laughs> oh, you put it out! And then she's dead. And then Julie has two houses now. <laughs> and she can go watch Loose Women by herself. <laughs> wow. Smashed it. Smashed that, mate. Well done. Oh. Oh, <laughs> my ass. Oh, Julie, look what they did to my ass. Look what they did to my ass, Julie. It's, it's never going to be the same. Used to be my favourite body part. <laughs> I used to have such a nice ass, and now look at it, it's all burnt. Well, all I wanted to do was watch a bit of loose women with you, and you pushed me off the cliff. <laughs> Guys, Biscuit has spent most of this afternoon just going. <laughs> Fake spiders around the house. Oh, he looks so cute. Biscuit, you're ruining all of my Halloween displays that I've put about. <laughs> I buy him so many cute toys and then he just loves a fake spider. But I've started to set up a few bits for the party. So there's another one over there. Put them about kind of randomly, those little fake spiders because I'm hoping that when people when it's dark and you know if you look over your shoulder or just see it in the corner of your eye you might think that it's a real spider and scare people <laughs> anyway I've just actually popped on the Adams family film um, just to kind of have one in the background and I wanted to have a little play on my Disney dreamlike game on my nin Nintendo <laughs> You know what, if you love games like The Sims or Animal Crossing or like Mario Kart, those kind of non-intense, stressful games, you will love Disney Dreamlight Valley. It is amazing. I'm just obsessed with it and I just love playing it because it makes me feel really relaxed. I'm going to play that for a little bit, but um, yeah, I just wanted to put something Halloween on in the background. But I think people are going to start arriving within the next kind of 20 minutes anyway. So I do need to go and get myself upstairs and ready for a fancy dress. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited actually to do fancy dress. I'm just quite tired today because me and I were actually up really late last night. We were up until about half two, three because we were sorting through those kind of bluey finance things. So I'm actually feeling a little bit weird today i've got that sort of heavy feeling in my chest because we're just sorting quite a lot still for bluey at the moment i really underestimated <laughs> how intense running a clothing company would be i feel like i say this all the time but i just like to kind of chat honestly about how i'm feeling on my vlogs as i'm sure you guys know if you watch them often and it's just a really big thing that's going on at the moment in my life in the background so sometimes I will bring it up, but I promise I won't always bring it up. But there's just lots of decisions and things going on with the company which are kind of high stress, high risk, and I'm not the best with those things because I'm an anxious person. <laughs> Niall's actually come in to sort of help me a little bit more with Bluey because it's, it's funny actually, me and Niall, we obviously are married and do lots of things together online, but we actually do most of our business stuff separately. So Niall has never really been that involved in Bluey as a brand. However, he now is coming in to kind of help me with the sort of background stuff because he's seen that I'm struggling a little bit. So it's been nice actually to have him to lean on. It's kind of like that saying, a problem shared is a problem halved. <laughs> so anyway, 
Actually, I do want to show you one thing just before I um, finish this clip. I, I basically have put, <laughs> I've put a little bit of decoration out already, but I've just decorated the toilet. <laughs> I love it, look at it, it's so cool. Those are the stickers I got from Next ages ago and they glow in the dark, so I'm really excited for later when people walk in the bathroom and there's a glowing pumpkin on our toilet seat. <laughs> I prioritise putting those bits out and the spiders over everything else because I need to get kind of cobwebs and some other bits and bobs out afterwards as well, but we will get to that, but anyway. Hello, happy Saturday. I will probably see you when I'm either ready or getting ready and the party begins. Do you know what, it's really weird as well. I feel like I'm turning into a grandma. Or actually, I think it's more, I don't know if any of you guys are the same, I way prefer going out on a Friday slash like going to a party on a Friday over a Saturday because I've got FOMO of the fact that I'm not gonna be able to watch Strictly on the sofa tonight. <laughs> I just really want to watch Strictly on the sofa and I just prefer like having a party on a Friday because then you have like Saturday and Sunday to just chill and watch Strictly on a Saturday night. I'm getting old. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. What the fork? What the fork? Fork? Is that like you said fork? Hello. <laughs> Like a condom. <laughs> oh, condom. I know I did. I know I did. Com condom. Condom. <laughs> condom. Condom. Oh my god. Welcome to the the beauty salon, cast. Yeah, I can tell. We're gonna be you get a beauty Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Suit you, Meg. <laughs> it will actually get really good. Megan, you look so different. Is this real hair? I don't uh, know. I was gonna say it's got a bit of a kink, but it's a cosplay wig. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Niall are from The Little Mermaid. Niall just had a fit while I was trying to pee. No, you He's gave contacted. me a faulty one. It was creased. It was under my. It felt awful. I've never, I was like, any, I've never done contacts before like this. Well, you just got one now. What? What I do? <laughs> look how good Niall's outfit is, though. You look proper Prince Eric vibes. I love the the shoes with it. <laughs> I was thinking, what do I put on my shoe on my feet? No, I like them because yeah. you look like Prince Eric twenty twenty two. You've seen Ollie's as NASA spaceman. He yeah. He got his boots and covered them with tin foil. Did he? Yeah. That's clever. So this little top is from O'Polly and this skirt is from Club L. So I'm like made a makeshift costume because all the aerial costumes were just not very nice. And then this wig is from. How was it? I'd probably go out in this outfit to be honest. Would you? Yeah, I'd wear this on a night out. Look, we've lost your head. I think we look quite good, don't we? And the pets are Flounder, Ursula and Sebastian. So we need to get their little outfits on just for a little pic. Give you a little family pic. Give you a little family little mermaid pic. Right, come on then. <laughs> get to cuddle him like this. Favourite thing ever is when cats enjoy a cuddle. It's only usually first thing in the morning and the evening that Biscuit really wants a cuddle and I just love it. <laughs> anyway, I am upstairs in the bedroom and everybody is starting to go home. Well, most people have gone home. Everybody's just sort of like getting either ready for bed if they're staying or everyone's heading home. So I thought that I would actually finish off the vlog here because I feel like this is going to be a very long video and basically I need to edit this and upload it on the same day to get it up my Monday upload so I just don't want to make it any longer because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to be able to do it in time so I oh, look at him he's making bread next to me I am going to love you and leave you I really hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for joining me this week 
and I will be back next week for another one which I'm actually we can technically start getting Christmassy now because Halloween has finished I'm so excited for like Christmas lights to turn on and it be okay to listen to Michael Bublé it's your first Christmas biscuit and it's gonna be unbelievable let's not show the world your balls though <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. I hope you all had a fun Halloween if you did anything. And I will see you next week for another video. Look his little tail. <laughs> the purrs, I swear, a cat purr is one of the best sounds in the world. <laughs>